Hey guys, Sherry here from Netflix Game Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for October the 4th until the 11th. Sorry, I accidentally said September in the Twin Flame reading. So I'm going to be doing a uh, crystal ball reading using my cards. So there's going to be a 5x5 five five grid, four cornerstone cards, one center card um, that depicts the message from the universe. The four uh, cornerstone cards are the main energies of the reading. There's going to be a distant past, recent past, present, near future, and final outcome. All right, so again, using my cards. So beginning with the first four, uh, cornerstone card, Seven of Cups. Um, so the distant past position, cornerstone card. So this is knowing what you want but not knowing how to get there. So a sense of confusion. And if you look at the Twin Flame reading, the main energy that was the overarching um, theme was questioning why, right? So you can hear, you see this, well, why? You know, I want this thing. What is stopping me? Um, why do I feel driven? You know, why are these things holding me back? Why am I reacting? Why am I doing this and that? And so, you know, the message to this card is to follow your heart, right? And that was the same message that was um, being expressed in the Twin Flame reading. So next, nice, the Crown Chakra. So this is the highest level of consciousness. This is a direct connection to your um, higher self as well as the collective and source and your twin, right? So there is this deep understanding or deep knowing that is coming from the masculine in the, the distant past. So he's done this phase of questioning, right? And he's had some realizations, aha moments. Um, so there's this clarity, I know. This card is I know. And the heart-centered card for the Twin Flame reading was deep knowing. Okay, so... Again, very cool synchronicities happening here. Nice. Nice. So this is the universe card. It is the last major arcana. So this is the final piece of the puzzle being placed. It, so the end of the fool's journey. This is major, major accomplishment, especially following that crown chakra. So the masculine, you have really come to this deep, deep understanding of a about your journey, um, you know, its purpose, um, and how far it's brought you, you know, you can see your growth, and so that final piece of the puzzle has been placed for the masculine, and it's a cycle of completion from 20 years up to lifetime, so you can see how this journey, you know, um, the sense of accomplishment has come from a very long journey along soul growth. So the Eight of Wands is communication, texting by phone, um, social media, but this is Cupid's arrow, so it's love, um, positive vibrations that are sent out into the universe, and then this is a card of manifestation, so it's that energy coming towards a masculine, or, you know, it, yeah, generally it means that it's manifested into the person's life who's, who's the reader. Um, so what I see here is this di direct connection to source. It's like this cloudiness and then sudden clarity and the realization of how powerful he is and has the ability to send out these beautiful intentions and vibrations and have it manifested. So it's like this you know, understanding of his deep connection with Source and all that is the universe, right? All he has to do is send out that intention and it seems to be instantly manifested into his reality. Final cornerstone card is the Knight of Swords. So I mentioned in the uh, Twin Flame reading that I'm no longer reading court cards as zodiac signs, so the court cards will be the energy only. Um, so this represents air, okay, and it is a, a movement forward. Knight is always moving forward. Um, so the Knight of Swords is somebody who's a champion, a rebel without a cause. So there's no direction. It's very scattered energy all over the place, chaotic. So there's a sense that he moved forward with um, 
an idea, but it was too hasty, right? It didn't get him the results that he was desiring. Um, so it's like more contemplation is required. Or this could mean that, you know, he has mental clarity and decides to move forward. Um, so we'll see what the rest of the cards say. All right, so recent past position, Ten of Swords. Wow. So the Ten of Swords is the ending to feeling stabbed in the back. Okay, so this is betrayal, ultimate betrayal, dark night of the soul. Being left, you know, stabbed in the back, left for dead. So it's an ending, Ten is completion. So from that haziness, there there was this this understanding of how he is creating his reality okay and so it put an end to this um, darkness I feel once and for all next knight of wands another knight so this is movement forward again fire this time so this is passion um, this is the things that you know, that you desire creative energy and um, spirituality. So it's movement forward. It's an explosive energy uh, shot out of the gate towards that thing that you desire. So from that darkness, he burst forth with this passion and drive. And it's right below the crown chakra. So there's this deep knowing, this deep understanding um, that he must move towards that thing that he desires. He needs to, um, if he wants to live his truth, right, then he needs to pursue that. So, um, yeah, this inspiration that he had in the past, he takes that and moves forward with it. Next, nice, Ten of Cups. So he's moving towards love. Here we have Ten of Swords, which is an ending, you know, of darkness. And then movement towards love. Beautiful. So the Ten of Cups is harmony, peace, um, ultimate bliss, you know, euphoria. So it's harmony within the family as well as within romantic relationships. Okay, so <clears throat> no wonder is he so driven. This passion, he, he wants this. All right? He makes that decision to end this darkness once and for all. Right? And so now... This Knight of Swords is kind of making a little bit more sense because he is the champion, right? He he comes in, he fights for justice. He's the one that isn't afraid to go into the dark places and and fight, right? And so he merges as this ball of fire um, and manifests this peaceful place. And it could be just a manifestation within himself, right? He he discovers um, love comes from within. It's not necessarily something out there that's attainable, but ultimately, you know, on a 5D level, that's what he's pursuing. Next is the moon. Interesting. So the moon is the things that are hidden in the dark, right? The um, These are fears, anxieties, not knowing... Um, not seeing your way clearly, right? Things, you, you need clarity, basically. So there, he needs to, he had to face his fears in the recent past. So he's moving through a veil of darkness once again. You know, it's, but ultimately he returns to the heart is what I feel here. Nice, Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands showed up in the foundation. Um, and she was a beacon of light for the masculine. Um, so here we can see that same kind of energy, right? The, the Knight of Wands is moving towards his passion, his desires, the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of No Fucks Given is somebody who's very charismatic, the leader, uh, spiritual uh, understanding here as well. So she's not afraid to, to express herself. So... Yeah, it's it's a movement from the mind into heart and passion. So present position. Um, so the two of swords. So this this card was also showing up in the present future position. So he 
is trying to, to make a decision. So he's at a crossroads, right? I thought maybe he had made that decision, um, but there's this hesitation once again. So this is having two choices. Am I going to move towards, you know, despair, dark, darkness, or love and the heart space, light? So he's looking to the past. The Queen of Swords. So this card didn't show up in the, the uh, Twin Flame reading, but all other cards did. All other queens did. So the Queen of Swords is somebody who is detached emotionally, but they they still respond in a motherly way. They're doing they're saying these things that they're punishing you, they're they're withdrawing affection in for your own good, right? So there is a sense that the feminine may be also desiring communication, mental clarity, a discussion, right? These are swords, which is uh, communication. So that this could also mean that he desires to communicate with her. Um, so the queen of swords isn't afraid to say what's on her mind, even though the words might be cutting, right? Um, she speaks her truth. So Six of Wands is zero point card. So this is the ma the main energy or message from the universe is the Six of Wands. So um, this is success. This is being the rock star, um, being placed on pedestal. People are cheering you on. So there is momentum that is building here. Um, he feels he's on the right path. Um, I do feel that he he feels driven, you know, spiritually, and his passion and his heart is driving him, but the mind is still playing an active role. So for the masculine, the main message from the universe is to move towards the thing that makes you happy, you know, the, the, the thing that, you f that makes you feel accomplished and recognized, and... Um, you know, be in a space where people are cheering you on, encouraging you, right? Not cutting you down, not um, making you feel less than what you are, right? You are a rock star, don't forget that, right? And so that's right beneath the um, Ten of Cups and the World card. So there's this completion here in the past. Um, you already know the successful path, right? This indecision just leads you to heartbreak and darkness and pain. Um, so this could also represent a karmic relationship as well. You know, there needs to be a discussion, a truthful discussion, which ultimately sets him free. So I see a battle with the mind and spirituality. So another card is the hangman. So this is surrendering, letting go of control, but also seeing things from a different perspective. So you can see that shift, right? There's this illumination, right? And this card is all about illumination. It's seeing things from a higher perspective. But this card also means that there's significant change happening in his environment. And so the masculine, you are surrendering, allowing that change to occur. So it's below the moon card. So, you know, it. this is an intention that you sent out. You desired this, okay? And it brought darkness or fear into your reality. But ultimately, you are able to surrender to that darkness. You're able to surrender to that choice. Um, yeah, so letting go of control, seeing things from a different perspective, a higher, more enlightened perspective. Okay, continuing on. 
the Four of Pentacles. So this is somebody being closed off, not letting somebody in, holding on too tightly. So this may mean the masculine is closing off at the present moment in order to go within, right? I, you see that introspection happening here that was showing up in the Twin Flame reading. So near future position is the nice, the King of Cups, how beautiful. So he comes out of that dark space, that introspection, with his heart on his sleeve. The King of Cups is somebody who loves very deeply, very passionately. And so we see a heart opening here with the King. And this is emotional balance as well. You can see that it was, he was struggling to express his emotions in uh, the Twin Flame reading. Okay, next is the Six of Swords. So this is moving to a calmer space, a calmer state of mind. Okay, you can see that happening, transitioning, surrendering, letting go of control. There's a sense that he really wanted to move forward with an idea towards love. He wants to make it happen. And then he became consumed with fear. And then so he slowed down to reconsider and, and see, you know, make adjustments that were needed okay and the adjustment needed was to go to a calmer state of mind and open the heart space once again so this is just that moving to um, a more peaceful place and i was just remembering also for the final message from the universe in the twin flame reading that it was all about alchemical seas right there's this turbulence and so it's a movement to a calmer state more peaceful state. Next, nice, high priest. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Awesome. So, once again, Source is pointing you in a direction towards your higher self, towards your um, higher calling or higher purpose. So, the universe card is the end of the fool's journey, right? Somebody like the high priest would attain that level of illumination. Same thing with the crown chakra. Um, would already feel that, you know, they've attained this unconditional love within their own heart space. And so the universe is cheering you on and saying, okay, if you continue down this road, not only will you feel this love within yourself and be able to express it to others openly, but you're going to find that you are that spiritual leader. So the, you know, and it harkens back to the message from the universe again in the Twin Flame reading. The final message was you know, this sense of leadership, power. And I think the masculine is discovering that power within himself on an even deeper level, right? There's this constant, um, you know, he's rising to higher and higher levels of consciousness. Incredible. A lot of soul growth and consciousness. Have, oh, wow, heart chakra. Beautiful. The feminine got this as a final outcome, I think. Yeah. So, um, you can see that the King of Cups would have their heart chakra wide open, right? So, massive um, self love, right? Especially moving from a negative space with the Six of Swords into the heart, into the crown chakra. Beautiful. So through that surrender, through that darkness, he comes to know love again, right? So it's that manifestation that uh, Cupid's arrows that he sends out comes back to him. High Priestess, very nice. Are you kidding me? Look at that. On either side of the heart chakra, the High Priest and the High Priestess. Oh my God. And isn't that cool how... The Queen of Wands is in the same row as the Feminine High Priestess. So where there was separation, there is now a merging of energies here. And the High Priestess is somebody who is highly intuitive, right? And that was the message in the Twin Flame reading is use your intuition and your heart to guide you. Wow. So being on this path brings him to, not only to his his own higher knowing, but he meets his equal through the heart space, the high priestess. 
incredibly highly intuitive, um, deeply loving, conscious beings. And that's incredible. Especially when you watch the Twin Flame reading, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. The, the synchronicities are just incredible. All right, so final row, um, cornerstone card, Eight of Cups. So this is moving away from an emotionally draining situation. It's a uh, pilgrimage to self. So as a cornerstone car, there's a sense of detachment, temporary detachment, in order to discover his self. And you can see that, no doubt about it. So um, he detaches in order to find that emotional stability within himself. Right, it was very scattered, very chaotic. He wanted love, but he didn't know how to express that love. And he moved into mental space, but all which ultimately detached himself from emotions. You know, and it's like he gets knocked down, then he gets back up again by surrendering, and it's like this flood of um, intuitive knowing comes rushing in. Whoa, like a wave. Next is nice, ten of pentacles. Are you kidding me? Wow. So what he desires is the ten of cups. That's what he's moving towards, right? And this is what he manifests is the ten of pentacles. That's the ten of cups manifested into the 3D. So harmony, peace, bliss, all uh, grounded into the 3D reality. So this is the retirement card. Okay, so it's surrounded by the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups, and this is a movement way, a detachment, and with that deep let go, there is full manifestation. Okay, so this could mean that he's walking away from a karmic energy, especially with the Queen of Swords below that. There's a sense that he desires to move towards love, but he needs to face his fears first, right? And the Queen of Wands is on the other side of that veil, that darkness. He makes a decision that he needs to have a commu um, an honest, open communication with the Queen of Swords um, or with the Divine Feminine either way. Ultimately, he needs to make a decision, speak his truth, open up, right? So he moves away, he opens up, and that opens his consciousness, which leads to manifestation in 3D. Next is the Three of Swords. Okay, so this is deep pain and sorrow. Um, so what I'm seeing here is a healing energy, a final purging. He manifests everything that he's ever desired, and it's like he collapses in this pain, this gratitude, maybe. Um, you know, because... <clears throat> We have this heart chakra here. This is beautiful open space. And the symmetry here is just incredible. So I don't understand why the Three of Swords will, would show up here unless it's a healing energy. He finally heals his heart. All right. So let's continue on. Page of Swords. So this is communication once again. And my throat did get scratchy there, so... There's a sense that communication is important to him. So this is him speaking his truth, and it could be to the queen. right? There's a contemplation, you know, and there's something I need to take care of. Something, some negative energy that's holding me back. Something that I, I know I have put a completion to in the end, but I need to cut my ties completely. right? And that requires him to surrender. He may appear to be closed off to this, you know, the Queen of Wands' his passion, but really he is just surrendering. Um, and ultimately this will lead to uh, some pain, right? And I, I, we were seeing that Five of Cups in his present moment. There's something that he needs to release and he knows it's hurting him or hurt will hurt somebody, but... It, Ultimately, he gains his freedom or this illumination by moving away from it, right? So he moves away mentally and emotionally, which causes heartbreak, but ultimately it sets him free. 
the Page of Swords um, speaks his truth, makes decisions, um, calculates, plans, that kind of thing. All right, so it's like um, a cutting conversation, painful conversation. Okay, so final cornerstone card. Wow, magician. So, you know, the Ten of Pentacles could be the completion of, you know, a previous relationship. But no, I'm not really reading it that way. It's like he's been contemplating a conversation. He knows he needs to have a conversation with somebody that ultimately leads to pain. But he needs to do that, and that's what he does, right? So the magician is the final cornerstone stone card, so this is the master manifester. He manifests the Ten of Pentacles. And we always what we're seeing here is his his battle wounds, his scars. It's like this process ripped open my heart. You know, it literally ripped open my heart. And so there may be some healing required, right? Um, he's feeling a little emotionally scarred or wounded, um, but ultimately he discovers his power once again. So this is more crown chakra activation. So it's a new cycle, new um, beginning, right? The the universe card is the end of the fool's journey, and then the magician is in number one. So, you know, it comes after the fool card. Uh, so this is realizing your entire life has, you know, just been uh, an illusion, and you can have the power to create the reality that you desire. So this is actual manifestation of your your ideas, your thoughts into the three D. So here we see that swirling of ideas, and here we have this intuitive. Um, connection, right? Fueled by the heart. And a switch in perspective leads to this ultimate manifestation, but it comes with a price. Okay, so he may feel closed off at the moment, emotionally detached, but there's this passion at the heart of it that is, it, that is driving him. Um, and like I said, it leads to this illumination, but it comes with a price. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from Miss and Mermaids, and this will be the final message from the universe. I'm being asked to use the Call It Baron Read for some reason, Enchanted Map. Do I have the cards here? Yeah, I do. So just one card, please, Spirit. Final message for the masculine energy. Stop. Magical map shifter. Yeah, very cool. And it's it's mirroring that hangman there, right? With the the blindfold, right? It's it's looking at all the people that have influenced your life, who've impacted your life. Um and be grateful for that. So you start to see connections, people that lead you to this higher state. Right? There's some things that the masculine needs to let go of, even if it's just a way of thinking. But ultimately, there's this beautiful realization about the Divine Feminine, I think. A deep knowing, a deep understanding. So let me read that to you. Magical Map Shifter. Okay, so spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny. When the magical map shifter card arrives, it comes with a mission to make you aware of the people who come into your life to impact your personal growth. Perhaps you may meet a soulmate whose presence invites you to be the best you that you can be, or someone who leads you out of difficulty, <clears throat> sorry, into a place of safety or success. Pay attention to those individuals who cross your path today and cause you to reflect on your journey. Be awake and aware and you'll recognize them for the important change agents that they are. Your whole perspective about who you are and why you are here will shift. The magical map shifter always initiates you into the better version of yourself. There you go. So um, the heart-centered energy for the twin flame reading was that understanding, you know, seeing your mirror and how this person, you know, 
is in your life to make you a better person, make you a better you. So that's beautiful synchronicity again. All right, so please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Show, show your love, guys, by subscribing. Um, but yes, leave a comment because um, this is how I know if I'm on the right track. All right, I love you guys. Peace.